guys, it's Kino. Welcome to another video. So today's topic is a very exciting one because we are going to be seeing what major shift is about to come into your life. The day that this video is uploaded is actually a very powerful portal, May 5th, 2021, because not only is it the fifth day of the fifth month, but the year 2021, if you add up the digits, 2021, it actually comes out to five as well. So today is like the 555 five, five day. It's an opportunity to bring in massive changes. So of course there are five options for you today as well. And we're going with a blue theme, which is in, what would you say, in accordance <laughs> with the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. And today we are collaborating with somebody who is very special to me. Her name is Luna or Luna Taro. Luna is actually a member of my soul family and we met in this lifetime in 2019 when my channel was still a baby in its early stages and she was actually one of the first people to find and support my channel and we both just felt a really special connection to each other and now of course she has a channel of her own which I absolutely love. Her energy is so comforting and loving and uplifting. Most of her readings focus on things like career and abundance and using your talents to bring success to your life and manifest the life that you want. So I always just feel so inspired when I'm watching her readings and I truly feel like I can do anything. So if you guys ever need some guidance for your career or even just a pep talk if you're ever feeling down i would highly recommend visiting luna's channel because you will feel so inspired and so energized afterwards i just i love love her energy and i'm so so happy to be able to collaborate with her today thank you so much luna i love you so Um, yeah, let's show you guys the crystals. Like we mentioned before, there are five for you guys to choose from today. Um, please feel free to watch as many as you want because there is potential for so much change to happen right now. And if you feel like a ton of stuff is about to change in your life, then there may be messages for you in more than one pile. So without further ado, let's take a look at the crystals. Number one is Chrysocola. Number two is Blue Agate. Number three is Blue Calcite. Number four is Blue Cat's Eye. And number five is Sodalite. Okay guys, so as always, take all the time you need to pick. You can pause the video if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with number one. Hi number ones, so if you chose the Chrysocola, this is going to be a reading all about what major shift is about to come into your life. So let's get right into your cards. We have a lot of cards today. And the first one we're going to look at is actually a crystal. So we have, oh my gosh, I learned how to pronounce this correctly. Um, I think it's chalcedony. I used to call it chalcedony, so that was obviously incorrect, but <laughs> we have blue chalcedony here for you. And we also have the number 11, so pay attention, be on the lookout for this number. You may already be seeing it. If you guys see 11, 1111, or 111, this could be a sign that your major shift is about to come. And it's funny that you guys got a blue stone because we are very much in the blue theme for this reading today. Um, most blue stones do have qualities of balancing our emotions, they help to relieve stress, they help to soothe anxiety, but another interesting thing about blue chalcedony is that it improves our mental, what would you call it, like mental powers, like it helps us to stay sharp, it helps us to stay on top of our game mentally, it helps us with memorization, with concentration. So maybe this new chapter of your life that is coming involves a lot of learning and studying new things. You guys might feel like you are a sponge, just super enthusiastic and absorbing all of this new information, 
Or if you are already learning and studying something, maybe this new chapter is going to provide you guys with some opportunities to use what you have learned. I think I also remember reading something about this being good for like communication and language. So some of you guys might be learning a new language or you might be practicing like your speaking, speaking in front of people, maybe even singing. And now that I think about it, this chrysocolla as well, it helps with communication, it helps with self-expression, and it helps us to be confident and authentic in the way that we communicate with others. So if I put this together, it's like, you guys, it looks like you guys are very knowledgeable or you're becoming very knowledgeable, very confident in your skills, and you're going to be in this energy where you are speaking and expressing yourself with confidence. Um, this new chapter of your life, it involves like um, expressing your knowledge of things that you've been learning and studying and your voice is definitely being heard. Maybe some of you guys are even like teachers. You're going to be teaching people because I can definitely see that fitting into the description too. Yeah, and I also wouldn't be surprised if my singers, my speakers, my vocalists, my bilingual queens are here as well. Anyway, so <laughs> can you tell I'm very excited about this reading? So let's move on to your tea leaf oracle cards and see what else we can figure out about this major shift. We have career coming out, which is a pretty straightforward message. It looks like this shift that is coming is going to be happening in your career. My camera timer also just said 333, which is a number of abundance and manifestation. So I can definitely see um, some higher positions and some higher wealth coming to you guys. We also have the Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person mood maybe some of you guys are in aries too and then we have ear good news this is actually really cool if we put these together this is kind of the story that i'm seeing play out for you guys in this major shift that is coming to you one of your big career related dreams is coming true so a lot of you guys i think are landing your dream job and even for those of you watching this reading even if you don't have a dream job and you're not sure, this can be related to you discovering something that you really love. So some of you guys are going to be um, like your inspiration is going to be set alight <laughs> with uh, some field that you are introduced to. Maybe you see somebody doing a certain career and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so fun. So for those of you who don't have a dream career in mind yet i think a lot of you guys are finding it um or you could even get offered a job and once you start working it you're like oh my gosh i freaking love this job <laughs> um but for those of you who already have something in mind it's definitely related to that with the ram here i know that stubborn and aggressive are kind of like they have negative connotations but the way i'm seeing it is that you guys were so strong-willed when it came to the pursuit of this dream you were like so determined and yeah maybe a little bit stubborn like this is what i want to do for a living this is what i want to do in the world and i'm not i'm not going to settle for anything else even if somebody is asking are you sure maybe you should have a plan b maybe you should you know work a normal job maybe you should just do that as a hobby you're like no <laughs> this is the career that I want, this is what I'm going to do. And even if you've experienced um, like rejections in the past, something didn't pan out the way you'd hoped, what this is showing me is that your refusal to give up and you continuously like butting your head into this dream, it's going to lead to your good news. It's going to finally lead to this offer or this opportunity or this breakthrough in success that was meant for you. So being stubborn with regards to your career is leading to good news. That's kind of um, how I'm reading these. And it's interesting that we have the ear here because kind of going back to what we were talking about with our crystals, I really feel that you guys are meant to be heard. So in this shift that is coming into your life, I think your voice is going to be it's like spirit is giving you a megaphone. <laughs> so your voice is going to be heard um, or it's going to be heard by more people. 
maybe some of you guys are going to be in a higher position where you have more authority and your ideas are listened to or maybe you are leading directing or teaching other people so they're listening to what you have to say you could be giving people counsel guidance instruction again this could have to do with like singing and music like people are listening to your talent they're listening to you sing they're listening to you play an instrument um, you could be like on a social media platform speaking your mind um, when this major shift comes your career is skyrocketing and your voice is going to be heard that is what i'm seeing here so this is really really nice energy by the way guys i'm sorry if um i sound like sniffly or scratchy i feel like allergy season is coming up because it's starting to get warm here and when i first moved here it didn't affect me but apparently if you stay long enough you start to develop the hay fever symptoms and so I think they're hitting me. Anyway, so <laughs> let's get into your tarot cards now to get more information about this big shift that is coming to you. Look at this. We have the Ace of Swords. So we have a 1 here. We have an 11 here. 11, 11 or 1, 1, 1 or these kind of numbers may be very big signs for you guys to look out for. And 1 is, of course, as the first number. It represents new beginnings coming into your life. It often tells you as well to trust your heart and trust your intuition. So I think a lot of you guys have intuitively felt that, you know, you deserve this big opportunity or that this shift is coming to you. And even at times when it maybe didn't seem like that in the 3D, you stayed determined and you stayed stubborn with it. And it's like, this breakthrough is finally coming. And you know, every ace in the tarot deck, it has to do with this new beginning, new opportunity kind of vibe. But especially with the ace of swords, I get this feeling of like a breakthrough. Like you're overcoming challenges, you made it past the adversity, and you're finally like piercing through <laughs> with your sword. You're finally making a breakthrough. So this is definitely a very powerful card to illustrate your new beginning. Um, the way the birds and the butterflies are like gathered around here, again, it makes me think that you guys are going to have an audience of some kind or you're going to be like leading or directing some people. And because these are flying animals that are gathered around you, it gives me the sense of like freedom and transformation. So something about what you're doing it's like freeing others or it's empowering others or it's uplifting others in some way. Oh, and why didn't I even think of this before? <laughs> Swords represents communication too. So there's a lot about your words or your ideas lifting people up. You're being seen, you're being heard. Um, Swords are also about mental clarity. So while i do think that there could be some people watching this reading who are more on the end of like i don't know what my dream job is and you know the shift that's coming is you guys discovering that and getting started with that because we have the mental clarity here i do feel like many people watching this reading have their dream job in mind and have actually been pretty sure about it for quite some time some of you guys may even have known like this is what i meant to do uh, since you were a child and now it's like finally materializing we also have the queen of cups i think this is definitely you and another queen <laughs> queen of cups and queen of pentacles i think that definitely both of these queens are emphasizing qualities that you guys have this is spirit telling you that you're a queen and it doesn't matter what um, gender you identify as it just means that you are ready for your blessings it means that you have grown you have evolved you have developed to a point where you're really ready to take on this next chapter and you are so deserving of it you can think of you know yourself being presented as a queen here as like 
you are beautiful, you are talented, you are radiant, you deserve the best in life. That's what I really feel from these queens. Um, it could for some of you guys be indicating like a partner or somebody who is going to be coming in to help you, like to lift you up and assist you with your goals. It could definitely be showing you and another person. Um, but I do very much think that both of them are here to show us qualities that you have. Um, you guys might be very creative. You guys also might be healers. Like there's something about your presence that is very healing to other people. They feel very understood by you. They feel safe around you. They feel like, you know, they're in good hands with you. So I can see how you guys will make a wonderful leader. This is like, these queens are leaders who really genuinely care about. I wouldn't even call it their followers. It's like the people that they are serving, the people they are guiding, and the people they are healing. These are both very warm and nurturing figures for sure. Um, I want to talk about the sea turtles on this card because it's funny. I used to, whenever there was a turtle or a sea turtle on a card, I would make some comment about them being slow until one day somebody commented on my video or was it a video? Anyway, somebody commented and said, you know, actually sea turtles move fast when they're in the water. And I thought, oh, interesting. So maybe when the sea turtles appear, it's actually a sign that you can move quickly and flow smoothly when you're in your element. Like when you're in the right environment, you can move quickly. So some of you guys entering into this new career opportunity, it's like you're, you know, the, you know, the turtles in Finding Nemo when they're in that like current and so they're moving really, really fast and they, you know, they don't have to move. They're just being carried by this, whoo, like this super fast current. I feel like when you guys get into your element, that's what it's going to be like. So, you know, maybe when you're working other jobs, you don't feel that inspired or it takes you a lot of time and effort to make progress. But when you're doing something that's in alignment with your natural talents and your natural gifts, it's not like it's effortless because of course everything takes effort, but it doesn't feel draining to you and you can make a lot more progress in a shorter time because you are being carried by this current, which is like your divine support or the support of your higher self. It's like you're in the flow. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are in the flow. Um, the Queen of Cups is also very intuitive, very spiritual, very psychic. Some of you guys may be utilizing your spiritual gifts in your career. Um, and you don't even necessarily have to be in a spiritual related career, but you could be getting intuitive insights about what step you should take next or, you know, what's the best way to solve this problem or what's the best way to go about this project. You could receive a lot of psychic insights, like maybe you have a dream about what the next step is or when you have an idea, you look up and see 1111 and you're like, okay, that's, that's the idea we're going to go with your higher self and your spirit guides are going to be really, really closely with you along this journey. And you will find the most rewards when you act out of your intuition. I'm feeling with this, um, with this queen of cups and then moving over here to the queen of pentacles. I like that she is in a tree in this deck because trees represent stability and security and longevity, you know, because they are firmly rooted into the ground. And because of that, they can grow very, very tall and their branches can extend up to the skies. So it's like you have a very solid foundation to really grow and really reach for the stars and that message of longevity it's like you're going to be supported for a very long time you guys this is like the queen and also the king of pentacles they make me think of long-term prosperity well not they make me think of that that's what they are <laughs> um long-term prosperity long-term abundance um i also often think with the queen of pentacles this is you having everything that you need materially and emotionally and also you being able to provide for others 
because you have so much and because you are so fulfilled, it's like you're spilling over. <laughs> you're spilling over and you can care for and treat the ones that you love as well. So not only do I see you guys in a very high position in terms of your career, but I see you very fulfilled emotionally. I also want to say with this Queen of Pentacles, you guys have a lot of, or you will have a lot of experience and a lot of authority on the field that you're in. And a lot of people are going to look up to you. A lot of people are going to admire you and in a lot of ways want to be like you. Not like they want to copy you, but they really look up to you and they might use you as their inspiration or as their blueprint, as their pink print. <clears throat> You're like the queen. You guys are considered one of the best in what you're doing. You're considered one of the best. That's what I'm seeing. So um, let's get into our final oracle cards here. Ooh, we have the shark with action. Another fast moving sea creature. <laughs> and we have adjacent possibilities. And purification. Let me see, how can these fit nicely? Oh no. Okay, I got it. So this action card, um, this is a card that very much makes me think, go for it. So this is gonna be important for you guys, especially in the next month or so. Um, again, you're gonna have a lot of psychic insights. You're gonna have a lot of divine support with you. And I think this shark card is telling you, like, when an idea pops into your head, go for it. Like, do not delay, do not dilly-dally. It's a good idea. Put it into action as soon, as soon as you can or as soon as you feel ready. Um, I don't want this to feel like rushing, like you have to do it now. Please don't feel like you're going to miss something if you don't act immediately, but... I think what your guides are saying is like, you're ready and now is a good time as any. So there's no reason for you to feel like you have to wait or you have to postpone things. If you're feeling that eagerness to move and go for it, this is like your guides giving you the green light and saying, go for it, take that action. I also want to say with this card, if you guys get invited anywhere, uh, you should say yes. You should kind of be like a yes person for the next month or so. Um, if you get offered any opportunities, take those confidently, take those with enthusiasm, know that they are for you and not for someone else because they're coming to you. So be confident enough to take those. And this is also a card that I would associate with like a feeling of acceleration. So things are really going to be speeding up in your uh road to success in your road to abundance in your road to getting your name out there and building your reputation i think this is really you know this is a bit of a blowing up moment that we're seeing here i mean you've always been this queen but it's like now people are seeing it now people are recognizing it um so things are really speeding up for you in your life i would also give the advice with this shark card um, you guys might want to exercise whatever you want to do, whatever you can do. Um, cause I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of energy running through you at this time. And it could be a good way to, um, what is it called? Dissipate some of that energy. It could be a good like release of stress or a good way to clear your mind. I want to mention that with this shark card too. Now this adjacent possibilities card, this is actually really exciting because as you can see from the imagery here it means that a ton of doors are opening for you so whatever you guys are pursuing in your career it's going to give you the opportunity to try out many different things so i don't know this is like just one example but let's say that you guys are a singer and you're blowing up and now because you have this platform now maybe you can try out acting or you can try out modeling or you can try out making a fragrance or you can try using your platform for activism and humanitarian purposes. It's like whatever success and whatever platform you guys are receiving right now, 
it's going to open the door to so many different things and it's going to allow you to like try your hand at many different projects or many different activities and you may actually discover like a new talent that you have or like the example of learning language let's say you guys are learning french then that opens the door for you to learn like italian or spanish or portuguese or is it romanian is that the other one that is very similar like it, it opens the door for you to try uh more things it's this kind of meaning so i find this really really um exciting and it's funny like the way we see the hallway i feel like this is your goal right and spirit is saying like you want to you want to peek in here <laughs> like you want to try this out too you know this this door will be waiting for you you might as well peek in the other doors while you're here and while you're at it <laughs> and experience as much as you can um wow what a happy energy we have here i'm so happy for you guys um okay so let's talk about this card purification first of all the sunflower is so freaking cheerful to me this might be a sign that your guides give you when success is coming your way to let you know that they're here and they're happy for you and they're proud of you this card of purification it kind of has this meaning of like detoxing or clearing or purging this kind of thing actually the first thing that came to my mind with this card is decluttering your space um especially with this blue oh my god i keep almost saying chalcedony and i know that's not right <laughs> this blue chalcedony this blue chalcedony um which is about focus and concentration and really being at the top of your game um maybe you guys like clearing out your space maybe doing a bit of a spring cleaning type of thing or um really getting your habits in order like working on minimizing certain habits that might distract you or eat up a lot of your time anything like this i feel like this is what the purification card is talking about so that you can be really um focused on the path that is laid out before you and focus on reaping those blessings um to me these two cards are like encouraging you to have healthy body healthy mind so that you can really give it your 100 percent and for those of you who usually don't feel motivated to do stuff like that you know this reading is about a major shift in your life and could very well be about a major shift within you so you guys might suddenly be really motivated to start working out or you might suddenly be really motivated to clean your room it's like you're on a roll you're in the flow you're on a roll that's what i'm really seeing here okay so i think that's all the messages i have for you guys thank you so so much for letting me do this lovely reading for you i hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and i wish you all the best please take good care of yourself stay healthy don't forget to like comment subscribe and definitely check out luna's video as well i also have a patreon so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic that will be linked down below as well i'm sending you guys lots of love and i will see you in the next one bye bye hi number twos so if you guys chose the blue agate this is going to be a reading all about what major shift is about to come into your life so let's get right into our cards i'm going to start off with the crystal spirit oracle and ooh, the crystal that we have for you is a diamond so oh and i also want to point out the number on here because i did so for pile one as well so two might be a significant number to you guys or 20 if you are seeing repeating twos or if you start to see them in the near future this could be a sign that your shift is about to come or a sign from your guides that you are on the right path so pay attention to that number um this is also a number of 
partnerships and relationships, which that could make sense with the diamond. <laughs> but the very first thing that came into my mind with this card is like an upgrade in your lifestyle because I feel abundance or luxury or like opulence coming from this diamond. So it's like some sort of leveling up in your lifestyle. I'm also feeling really, really positive energies with regards to your self-worth, your self-esteem and your self-care. It's like you are really starting to treasure yourself or treasure yourself even more and really see your value and really this might sound cheesy, but it's like you're viewing yourself as a precious gem <laughs> that deserves the best and that deserves to be spoiled. So you guys might get in the habit of a self-care routine or treating yourself every now and then without feeling guilty about it at all because it's what you deserve. I see you guys really loving yourselves, feeling yourselves and taking care of yourselves, which is going to attract amazing relationships into your life. I feel that not only are you really honoring your worth, but the people in your life are really going to be honoring your worth as well. I'm also thinking about, you know, creating a diamond from pressure. So the hardships that you guys have been through are finally leading to this breakthrough in healing. So when this shift comes into your life, this is where you guys can finally feel like what I've been through has made me stronger and look back without any bitterness or resentment, but actually a great sense of pride in yourself for getting through what you went through and a great sense of gratitude for yourself as well. Like you can genuinely look back and say like, yeah, that experience made me stronger. That experience made me who I am today. Um, so this definitely feels like a very empowering chapter of your life. And then the other thing I see with the diamond and of course the number two with partnerships is making me think of like a wedding ring or an engagement ring. So that might be a message for a small number of you guys. You might be getting a proposal or proposing to somebody um, or starting to talk about marriage, or in a more broader sense, this could just be referring to moving up a level of commitment in your love life. So, you know, meeting a new person who is committed, who wants something serious, or things are getting serious with the person you're already involved with. Even outside of love and romance, this message of like a commitment, it could be, you know, a broader meaning of like for example, you're signing a contract or you're signing a lease or something like that because those are big commitments as well. Um, and actually, let's talk about the blue agate here. I just realized how this can tie in because, you know, the diamond is really giving me a feeling of a big commitment, like with another person or with an organization or maybe even with like a place, like a living situation. If any of you guys are feeling worried or anxious about going to this new level of commitment, I feel like these stones paired together are telling you not to worry because um, let's start with the diamond. The diamond is a symbol of purity and faithfulness. So this means that whoever is coming into your life, whoever you're coming into a commitment or an agreement with, they do have good intentions and they will serve your highest good. And the blue agate, it helps to clear away negative energy and negative emotions, um, especially those related to like stress or worries or anxiety. So it's like together, they're telling you there is nothing to worry about. You are going to be surrounded in this new chapter of your life with people who only have the best intentions for you and you will be safe with them. So if you make a commitment, um, you will be very happy that you did. You will know that it's the right choice. Also with this diamond, any of you guys who are making a big purchase or a big investment, um, don't worry about that or feel bad about it or feel any sort of like apprehension or uncertainty about it. Like if you're investing into your education or you're investing into a course or you're investing into equipment, that's going to help you work towards your goals. And it's like a pretty significant um, expense. You know, I feel like these are telling you that um, you're doing this with the best of intentions. You will be rewarded. It is going to help bring in an upgrade in your life. And 
um, there's no need to worry about it. Okay, so a lot of information coming out just from this diamond. So let's get into your tea leaf oracle cards now. Oh yeah, like especially if it's like higher education, like university or something like that. Um, your guides want you to know that everything is going to pay off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, we have the not unsuccessful plans. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. And dogs getting together with friends. So this is interesting. You guys might know when I use these cards, I like to see if I can put all three of them together in some way. And what I see here is like something that you were unsuccessful in or something that didn't, you know, come through in the way that you wanted it to. When you get together with other people, it's going to become successful. So it could be something like you tried and failed or something that you had given up on and these cards are saying if you weren't able to do it alone it's because you weren't meant to do it alone so um i do see somebody coming to your aid somebody coming to support you so that you can give this plan another try and this time it will be successful this is like it's like your comeback this is like your redemption this is like your second chance and there are the sirens. <laughs> um, I like that you have this dogs here, which talks about getting together with friends. And you also have the diamond, which has the number two of partnerships and relationships. I do feel like this shift involves an important soulmate coming into your life. It could be a friend, it could be a business partner, it could be a romantic partner. But I feel like this person and this partnership is going to restore your hope somewhere where you had kind of become discouraged, lost hope, or maybe even given up. And new life is being breathed into your plan or new life is being breathed into your dream. I also really love that this partnership is represented by dogs because dogs are very loyal so whoever's coming into your life again they're faithful they're loyal they have good intentions with you and i'm also thinking about you know how dogs are just down to do whatever and they will get excited when you get excited they're like that kind of faithful companion this is someone who's gonna be so excited about the things that you are excited about and take a genuine interest in the things that you're interested in and do whatever they can to support you and you're realizing like teamwork really makes things happen. Like when you get together and join forces, you can really make amazing things happen. Oh, I'm thinking about, so I don't really use this deck that often, but the last time I used it, I believe it was in a reading about your past life with your soulmate. And you guys can check that out if you want. And in the same reading, that this diamond card came out last time it was something about like this dream team like two soulmates who when they put their heads together they can make these amazing things happen or they can create amazing things together so this might be like a connection that is coming into your life and starting this amazing shift or if this person is already in your life you guys are gonna put your heads together and really um make some amazing things happen. Ooh, okay, so let's get into your tarot cards now and get some more information about this shift. Two of Pentacles. So we have the number two again, and that's really interesting because pile one also, the first tarot card that came out was the same number as the crystal. So the number two, I think is very significant for you guys. Um, if you're not seeing it yet, I feel like you could start seeing this repeated number very soon, like following you around so that you know this partnership is coming, this positive change is coming. The Two of Pentacles, um, I do often interpret it as a collaboration, like two people coming and bringing their own value and their own efforts into the situation. Um, and you know, making something or working together. We also have the devil. So you could be a Capricorn or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
and we have the nine of wands. So mm, these are kind of heavy energies and there's a couple ways that I could interpret this. So I'll give each interpretation. You guys might resonate with one, you might resonate with the other, or it might be a little bit of both. Um, the devil is about insecurities, fears, negative emotions, feeling trapped. Like you can see in this card, this person is trapped under the devil. And the nine of wands, it has a feeling of like being guarded or it's like you're being strong and you're fighting, but sometimes it has the implication like you don't need to be so strong right now. You don't need to be so guarded. Like you can let your guard down and be vulnerable. So another major shift that I see coming for you guys is actually something inner. It's an inner shift that is really going to change your life. The first thing that I see um, with regards to like collaboration and someone coming in to help you, you guys are becoming more comfortable with receiving and accepting help from others. Some of you guys may be a little bit closed off. As you can see, the person is trapped here and it's like the devil has their heart in a web. Um, some of you guys may have a hard time opening up to other people, especially when it comes to showing your vulnerability and asking asking for things, asking for help, asking for support. Maybe some of you guys feel like you feel guilty when you do that. Maybe you feel like a burden, especially if you have been made to feel that way in the past, in your earlier life, or even in your childhood. That could be a wound that is staying with you. Like, I shouldn't ask for help. I should be able to do it on my own. Or if I'm asking for help, you know, I'm going to burden this person. I'm going to put too much on them. So I feel like a lot of you guys may up until now have kind of like suffered in silence and just, you know, you act like you're okay and you don't need anything. So not to like inconvenience or burden the people around you. And in this shift that is coming in your life, I see you guys um, finally letting your guard down and being okay with receiving from others and not just giving and being okay to admit like, I'm weak right now. I need help. I can't do this on my own. Um, can you please help me or, you know, give me some advice, give me something. You guys need to receive. You cannot just give because eventually you will burn out. Eventually you will completely drain yourself and it's not fair. It's not healthy. It's not natural. So I think this is a big wound or a big blockage that is being healed within this shift. And then another way I could interpret these cards is this two of pentacles. It can also have a meaning of finding balance in your life. I'm thinking of this card in the angel tarot deck, which I love and I often refer to it even when I'm not using it. Um, but it talks about like you might have too much going on and there's a need to have more fun. Like there's a need to balance in your life, work and rest and play and social life and make more time for those like playful leisurely aspects of your life because when this is paired with the devil it could also talk about like an unhealthy relationship with productivity or a feeling like you always need to be doing more a feeling like you always need to be proving yourself or meeting somebody's expectations a wound like this could come from if earlier in your life or even in your childhood you felt that in order to receive love you need to have some kind of output or you need to perform in some way like you need to be excellent in some way and that's how you will receive love and attention and you know existing just existing and being yourself maybe didn't feel like enough in the past that is something that can cause this kind of wound to manifest so this is something that i see healing as this new shift comes into your life as well where 
your value is placed less on like what you're putting out, what you're creating, what goals you're achieving, what your status is compared to other people, how well you're pleasing others or meeting their expectations. And you're realizing that your value is inherent. Like you are beautiful regardless you are worthy regardless just because you are you and you have the heart and soul that you have that is more than enough you are kind you are sweet you are gentle you are caring you are so so worthy and you don't need it's like this devil has made you think like oh are you worthy prove it show me what you can do it's like i feel like that's the devil in your head like what can you do for me prove to me that you're worthy and so maybe you guys resonate more with the first one or this interpretation or again it could be a little bit of both um and i can kind of see how they relate to each other it's this feeling of just letting your guard down and saying like i want a heart connection and i want to just relax and i want to receive and i want to be loved i want that healthy energy exchange and that's what you are getting so wow this is like a deeply healing chapter of your life and it's going to feel like a huge weight is lifted off of you when you can open up and accept this love and support without feeling guilty or without feeling like you're a burden Okay, so let's move on to our final oracle cards now. We have the Hermit Crab with Gratitude. We have Hostilities. And Trust. So looking at this imagery with the beach and the ocean and the palm tree and also thinking about those elements of like self-care and an upgrade in your lifestyle, some of you guys may be going on a very, very nice vacation coming up this year. We also have the hermit crab who's like walking on a beach. So you could be going to like your dream destination later this year. Um, that's just a specific message for some of you, but oh my gosh, I want to talk about these two cards together, hostilities and trust, because when these are put together, it's, it's kind of giving me the feeling of like trust issues, which I think could tie into what we saw here, like a fear of letting your guard down, um, as well as what we were speaking about right at the start with the diamond and the blue agate where your guides are coming through to reassure you to tell you not to worry that the people who are in your life or who are coming into your life soon they only have your best interests at heart and it's safe to trust them and again like this hostilities person it definitely looks like he has his guard up like he has his sword up he's on defense if anybody comes to attack him maybe sometimes you guys feel like you are moving through the world like this and it's hard to you know put your weapon down or put your walls down and just trust and let people in so this is definitely healing itself again with the dogs like the people what is that the people you are surrounded with are incredibly loyal and will be incredibly faithful to you so slowly but surely you guys will feel safe to let this guard down, to be trusting, to be open, and to be vulnerable with the people around you. And also about this hermit crap card, what is actually standing out to me is the number 12. Um, in the context of this reading, this is kind of making me think of the hanged man in tarot, which is also the number 12, because that card is about gaining a new perspective and looking at things in a new way. And with that message of gratitude, this is really like you guys are repairing your relationship with receiving so that when you receive, it's no longer associated with a feeling of like guilt or a feeling of, you know, I'm indebted to you now, I owe you something now, or a feeling of, did I really deserve what I just received? And all of this is just replaced by pure gratitude so that you can receive from others 
you can feel appreciative, you can feel happy, and you can say thank you, and it ends there. Like it's not something that you have to overthink about because you know deep down that you deserve to receive. You know deep down that through your energy exchange, you're giving something to them in return. And so it's natural that you're going to receive. It will start to really feel like a natural part of life that you don't um, question and that you're not afraid of. This is like your new perspective. I can open up and receive help and receive support and receive love and I can be grateful for that. And in fact, gratitude and appreciation, it is a really nice way to return that energy to the person who is helping you and supporting you. So yeah, receiving is going to feel a lot easier for you guys and not just receiving from other people, but from the universe as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if after this shift, you guys um, are able to manifest a lot bigger things for yourself, manifest a lot smoother, manifest a lot more quickly. Ooh. <laughs> because so much doubt and so much resistance is being removed through this shift. Um, so again, this looks incredibly healing. This looks incredibly empowering. Um, this shift is going to lead to much closer relationships, especially with a specific soulmate. And it's going to lead to success and it's going to lead to an upgrade in your lifestyle like you are choosing and you are living the best life for yourself because it's what you deserve it's what you always deserved you're just really owning it now okay so that's all the messages i see for you guys thank you very very much for letting me do this reading for you i hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and i wish you all the best Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you feel like doing that and definitely check out Luna's video too. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below as well. I'm sending you guys lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hi number threes, so if you chose the blue calcite, this is going to be a reading all about what major shift is about to come into your life. So let's get right into the cards. We're going to start off with a crystal oracle card and we have Mukite Jasper. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I've been mentioning the number at the bottom of the card. So the number 36 might be significant to you guys or the number nine might be significant. Um, if you see these numbers repeating themselves like 36, 36, or maybe you're seeing 999 in your everyday life, this could be a sign from your guides that this major shift is about to come and that you're on the right path. So. As for the meaning of this crystal, I'm not sure specifically about Mukite Jasper. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. So I think I will interpret this with the normal meaning of Jasper. This is a highly protective stone. So what I see for you guys in this new chapter of your life is protection, grounding, stability, and security. The red color of this crystal gives it an association with the root chakra. So you guys are going to be feeling very healthy in both your body and your mind. Um, you guys are finding a structure in your life. You're finding a routine, but a routine that really works for you, that really makes you happy and that you feel like it's supporting you rather than just disciplining you. A routine that really works for you. And I'm also feeling that you guys will feel comfortable in your physical body or even confident in your physical body. You guys are going to be feeling very at home in your physical vessel. Those of you who struggle with feelings of anxiety or overthinking or overly worrying, I do see that that is going to be calming down in this new chapter of your life. So you're able to be more present. You're able to live in the moment. You're able to reassure yourself that everything is going to be okay without you know, branching off into a million possible scenarios of how things could go wrong. So your energy is overall a lot more calm, a lot more secure, confident, and really um, grounded. Another thing that just came 
to me that I feel called to tell you guys is pay attention a lot to your dreams over the next few months. Maybe you actually have been over the past few months as well. But what your guides are telling me is that the symbolism that you see in your dreams is going to be really significant or the messages that you're getting in your dreams, they are very relevant to your 3D waking life. Like you're going to be getting messages that are really relevant to your life and probably really um, like straightforward. So maybe you guys want to keep a dream journal if you don't already. And on that note, it might be good to just keep a journal in general. So you have a place to write down how you are feeling and to get those emotions out. Um, was there something else I wanted to say? Yes, there was. Sorry. <laughs> it came to my mind when I was talking about the dreams. Sometimes like another message comes to me when I'm talking and I'm like, okay, I'll put a bookmark there and get back to it. And then I forget. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say that in this next chapter of your life, you're going to notice that things that you once only felt on an intuitive level or that you once only knew to be true in the 5D, it's going to start grounding itself into the 3d so let's say you had a certain feeling about a person you didn't have any 3d proof about it but you just felt it intuitively it's going to start to prove itself in the 3d like the true nature or the true feelings of that person is going to come out and basically you'll be receiving a lot of confirmation that what you've been experiencing on an intuitive level is true or was true all along so yes that's what i see for this jasper Mukite Jasper. <laughs> Let me know if I'm saying that right, if you guys know. And let's get into your tea leaf oracle cards now. So we have the kite with vacation. Shield, you need to defend yourself. And teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Okay, um, this reading is highly spiritual. I feel like your shift, you will definitely see the shift happening in the 3D, but it's something that is happening in the soul world. What I see is like several, several highly evolved beings like angels, archangels, could be ETs as well if you guys believe and resonate with that. It's like they're coming in to surround you. They're coming in to protect you. It's almost like they're ushering you into this next phase of your life. They're here to be your shield, so to protect you from negative energy. And they're here to rid you of negative influences and negative energies. So any people, relationships, situations that have been lowering your energy, anybody who has been like jealous of you or doesn't have good intentions for you, Basically, anything that has been dragging your energy down, um, like psychic attacks, evil eyes, anything that could have been affecting you, negative entities hanging around your space, these beings are coming in to clear all of that away and to protect your energy so that you can reach your fullest potential, so that you can reach your highest vibration, if that is a word that resonates with you. And move into this next chapter of your life as your best self. Um, this deep friendship card, I honestly first thought of it as an angel or a spirit guide. Of course, these higher beings don't really have a gender, but like, for example, if you identify as a female, this could be like a motherly figure who is watching over you. Please take that how it resonates. I feel like this same sex thing doesn't really matter. You could be male, female, non-binary. The point is that there is a very loving or several very loving spirit guides watching over you. And you know, this teapot with the message of deep friendship, this could also be speaking to your guides helping you with, it almost feels like a purge, like a cleansing of your energy and a purging of any relationships or any people 
who don't have your best interests at heart or who are operating on a much lower energy than you anything that could be possibly like weighing you down or dragging you down it feels like these beings are coming in to remove that this is going to make your life a lot more peaceful a lot less stressful you guys are going to have more energy i feel like your mental health is going to be vastly improved and with this vacation card it's like life is starting to feel more easy or more effortless once these negative influences are removed from your life i can kind of see you guys having this moment of truth like wait a minute is am i supposed to feel this peaceful and unbothered all the time like is this normal and your guides are like yes this is what you are meant to feel like when you don't have these negative influences around you so maybe a lot of you guys it's like i feel like because you've had these influences around you for so long you are not fully aware of like just how much stress you're carrying in your body or just how much frustration you're carrying and then when you get back to normal back to your peaceful unbothered high vibe self you're like wait you mean i can feel like this all the time like this can be my natural state of being so these beings are helping you through a huge energetic cleansing and essentially an energetic upgrade where you're getting back to your highest potential like you're running with the best fuel and the best engine <laughs> this is how i'm seeing it and it's interesting you guys have the number 36 here which adds up to nine and this is a number that can indicate a leveling up especially when it comes to your spirituality especially when it comes to your energy you guys could really start to awaken to your life purpose and start to awaken to your psychic abilities um yeah, like they're ushering you through an awakening. So this is really cool. And at the end of this, you'll be left with, you know, the deepest friendships, the deepest connections with the best of people. So, wow. Okay, let's look into your tarot cards now and see what else we can find out about this shift. So we have King of Pentacles. the five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles there's a lot of earth energy so you guys could be an earth sign or you could have a lot of earth signs in your life or this could be your guides telling you that your soul family members who have yet to come into your life there will be a lot of earth signs so be on the lookout for that we also have the numbers five and eight here so I just thought that maybe the months of May to August, like this is going to be a significant time frame for you guys. So definitely you guys are destined for major success, major abundance and incredible achievements in your life. I'm really feeling that this King of Pentacles is representing you. So like when you're in your fullest potential, when you are connected to your higher self, your expression will be like the king of pentacles so this is somebody who like i said is incredibly abundant and successful this is someone who is patient persistent i feel him as like very gentle and very generous and of course as a king he is like a leader so your story of success i think is going to inspire many people i feel like many of you guys are destined to be self-employed like to have your own business or to be in a very high position with whatever you do meaning highly respected highly praised and also highly paid like you guys really have the potential to live in the highest like up to your highest standards i guess would be a way to put it but yeah this is you you're this king you're this king of pentacles and looking next to this, we have the five of pentacles here. This can kind of mean a couple things. And actually these two interpretations could go together, but maybe a lot of you guys haven't really felt like you've embodied this king yet. Maybe you know that this king is within you, but you don't feel like you've really embodied him yet. Or maybe some of you guys don't even see that you truly are this king, like you don't see um, all of this potential and all of this talent that is within you. Um, so it could be like a little bit of 
a confidence or a self-esteem issue um, that is going to heal itself in this shift. The other thing when it comes to relationships, because I do feel like there is a pretty strong theme of relationships in this reading and like the people that you are surrounded with or the communities that you are in. Um, and it, I always hate to say this because I feel like I, I just sound harsh when I say it, but the five of pentacles can indicate people who are like not good enough for you, so to speak, or they're just not on your level. And it sounds like it sounds so bitchy when I say it, but that phrase like you can do better, like you can do better than that person or that group or that community. Um, it comes to my mind. It's like you are destined for something greater or your journey is meant to be more. Um, I do feel like when this shift is happening in your life, there will be some people who exit your life, like some people that you drift apart from. You guys, some of you guys could be leaving a community because that word community keeps coming to my mind, whether that is a community in your like quote unquote real life or an online community, you know, a group of people who have influenced your thinking or influenced the way you see yourself and you're not going to have that anymore um so you see how these can kind of these two interpretations can have something to do with each other because if you guys feel that you have not embodied this true king that is within you or even if you don't see this king that is within you it can have to do with the people who are surrounding you and holding you back in some way whether that is you know they're doing it consciously or unconsciously um i think a big message of this reading is like you deserve more you deserve to be more you deserve to have more or you are more than this um for some of you guys yes it might be that you're with somebody or in a group or a community of people who in some ways kind of actively put you in a box or try to keep you down and these beings who are coming to your aid are saying like we're not having any more of that we're going to protect your energy and we're going to free you from these negative influences and i should mention that you know things like the evil eye or psychic attacks while they can be like a conscious thing that somebody has put on you um it's not always an intentional thing it can just be that somebody is jealous of you and then they cast this sort of attack on you without even being aware. Um, but what I see when this shift comes and when you have this divine protection is that anybody who has any sort of negative attention, intention towards you, or who has any sort of hard feelings towards you or whatever it might be, they're like, you're gonna be untouchable to them. They're not going to be able to permeate this divine shield that you have around you. They're not gonna be able to get to you. They're not gonna be able to hurt you or phase you in any way. This shift is really like breaking free from heavier energies or breaking free from negative influences so that you can become this king. And there's huge symbolism here of abundance and money and success, obviously. Um, all pentacles cards and let's talk about this eight of pentacles actually i feel like this is your energy this is going to be the energy that replaces the five of pentacles you guys are going to find your soul family you're going to find your group your tribe your community because i'm using that word a lot <laughs> your community of people who are like-minded and these people are incredibly hard-working they're incredibly honest they're incredibly reliable, trustworthy, generous, and supportive. I feel like you guys will be ambitious and goal-oriented together and you will really support each other towards your goals. So when this new shift hits, I feel like you guys are going to get a burst of motivation to work hard and to really pour your efforts into a project, pour your efforts into improving your talents and the people around you are going to be all for it. Like they're going to be so excited that you're taking these steps, um, giving you emotional support, of course, but even little, you know, tips and advice and sharing resources whenever they can. In this new chapter, you guys are fully supported to realize your goals and make your dreams come true. Um, 
the spider it's making me think of it's the spirit animal oracle um, by Colette Baron reed and I think the spider one says it's something about manifesting your dreams or making your dreams a reality so and yeah that goes so well with the message I got from the Jasper card which is things that you have felt intuitively to be true or you felt intuitively that they are coming they're going to start materializing in the physical world all this pentacles energy is like things are being grounded things are physically materializing so you are really going to start seeing your dreams becoming like a physical reality in front of you one last thing i want to say with the spider is i'm looking at the spiders like the silk the web that is very it looks very delicate or fragile but it's actually quite strong and i think this could be representing your energy like some people might mistake you guys as weak just because you are sensitive and emotional maybe some of you guys are empaths and people mistake your vulnerability for weakness but these true friends this soul family is going to recognize it for what it really is which is strength they recognize your uh, sensitive nature they recognize your vulnerability and your deep ability to feel your whole spectrum of emotions they see that as pure strength and they really admire you for the way you are they admire you for who you truly are so yes this is what i see for your tarot so i have a few more oracle cards before we finish off this reading we have the sea snake and it says letting go how interesting letting go of snakes <laughs> uh, we have wonders and we have the second chakra archangel ariel um okay there's something i want to say about this snakes and letting go i feel like it's quite telling that you guys are walking away from some person or people who maybe are just at a lower energy or even don't have your best interests at heart. I'm just thinking about this blue calcite, which is about truth and communication, expression. If you guys are choosing to walk away from something or someone, like person, organization, group, community, whatever it might be, um, of course you can go about this in any way you want. Like if you do want to just quietly disappear um it's it's of course up to you like there's no judgment in how you choose to do it but i think your guides are saying if you can and if you want to they would encourage you to you know clearly and directly communicate like your reason for walking away or communicating like i'm going to let go i'm going to walk away so let's say this is like a person that you are going to distance yourself from to tell them you know what wasn't working for you in the relationship because that will give the person an opportunity to reflect on the ways that they were behaving and on how they might be able to grow of course if you don't feel like you owe them that explanation or you don't want to do that um, that's entirely fine um, so maybe this message is just for some of you like if you've been thinking should I speak up should I say something your guides are saying it could be beneficial to you know clearly state that and give your reasons and in the case that it's some kind of group or community I know it can feel kind of like douchey to announce your departure sometimes when it comes to a larger group but what they're saying is that if you give your reasons like i feel like this group is holding me back or i feel like this community has become toxic for me and i want to free myself and i want to do more and be more like if you can give these reasons it could give courage to other people in that community who are feeling the same way but who are too scared to say something or who are too scared to walk away you could kind of be like an example for them that you know there is a life beyond this group or beyond this community or whatever it is um 
and you could give somebody the courage to break free in the same way that you do if you communicate that clearly. Um, again, maybe that's just a message for some of you, but I wanted to, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, let's talk about these cards because these are so beautiful. Wonders with the second chakra or the sacral chakra. What you're going to find in this shift is that your manifestations are becoming a lot stronger, a lot more like specific, a lot more accurate. They're playing out exactly as you have imagined them. And also, I'm feeling that after this shift, it's like you guys are giving yourself the permission to dream big again. You believe that anything is possible again. You feel the divine support with you. And so, no, you're not going to keep your goals small. You're not going to keep your goals, quote unquote, realistic. You guys are going to dream big. It's like you're getting that wonder back, that childlike wonder back that anything is possible and anything you can dream, you can do. The world is going to become so much more vivid and so much more exciting and fun for you guys. I'm also seeing with this second chakra or sacral chakra that you will be very creatively inspired once this shift has come. So for those of you who are creatives or artists, I see you guys really getting to it or getting back to it with a lot of enthusiasm, with just endless ideas and with a lot of motivation to like start and finish a project and also feeling really confident with the work that you're doing. So for example, if you are a writer, it's like you will sit down, you'll write out your draft from start to finish and you'll read it back and be like, damn, this is really good. <laughs> I really like this. Um, whereas before, maybe you have the habit of starting and not finishing or you make something and you hate it. Um, you're going to be so much more confident, so much more inspired and motivated and really getting a lot of projects done and just feeling super good about it. And even those of you who don't really feel like you're creative or you've, you've never been into that kind of stuff, you might get a little creative bug or a little artistic bug. And you're like, hmm, I think I want to draw a picture. I think I want to sing a song. <laughs> you're going to, I feel this desire blossoming within you to express yourself creatively. And I think one of the big reasons for that is because your root chakra is getting straightened up because the sacral chakra is right above the root. And the root's actually really important because if it's not taken care of, then any chakra above it, including the sacral chakra that is right above it, it cannot really flourish. If you think about it with like the root chakra being about your security or your sense of, you know, feeling safe and grounded in the world, it's kind of hard to be motivated to create and it's kind of hard to be inspired and carefree when you're so focused on survival and not being anxious and just feeling okay with existing it's really hard to get into this creative flow so once your root chakra is sorted out your sacral chakra will follow and this is also about like intimacy sensuality sexuality things of this nature so again i feel like you guys will become really comfortable with yourself comfortable with your body and your sensuality and expressing yourself physically. You'll feel like you're able to connect and be more intimate with the people in your life, whether it is romantic or friendships. Um, you feel a lot more open. You feel a lot more at peace. And like you have the power to create your wildest dreams. Oh my gosh, I just realized this is also number uh, 36. I don't know why I didn't see that before, but there we go. We said at the beginning of the reading, you might see repeating 36, 36, and here she is. <laughs> um, could be repeating nines as well. Okay, so this is all I'm seeing for you guys. So I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching, and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And definitely check out Luna's video as well. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below too. I'm sending you guys lots of love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!
Hi number fours, so if you guys chose the blue cat's eye, this is going to be a reading all about what major shift is coming into your life. So I have to tell you guys, at first I had filmed the first few minutes of your reading and then I ran out of space on my card, so I switched it, I filmed the rest of the reading and when I finished, I realized that there was something wrong with the first file. So the first few minutes of your reading were not playing back. Um, so this is me coming back to repeat the messages that were at the beginning of the reading for you guys. Um, there's a lot of angel numbers happening. Um, we have number 44 here on the pink sapphire. You guys are also pile number four. And when I had originally filmed this first part of the reading, um, I started at 444, so it was like huge synchronicity. And you guys might know that if you have a very high energy or a very high vibration, you can mess with electronics. So I don't know if you guys are just a very high vibe pile, that there are some technical difficulties because something like that has never happened to me. I do get the feeling that you guys have a lot of angels around you. You are surrounded by the number four. It's everywhere in this reading. You guys are heavily protected by angels and they're here to tell you that you are 100% on the right path and that everything is unfolding perfectly. And there is sort of a link here with the pink sapphire and the blue cat's eye, or I should say with the number 44, because the blue cat's eye is a protection stone and it helps us to connect with and trust our intuition. So I feel like you guys intuitively, maybe you know deep down that you're on the right path and you know deep down that the blessings that you have dreamed about and that you've held so dear and that you've longed for for such a long time you know that they are coming, but sometimes when time goes by, we start to doubt, we start to wonder if we did something wrong, if we somehow ended up on the wrong path. And so I really feel that in this reading, your angels are coming through to tell you, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You are completely on the right path. You are completely right on schedule. And we are protecting you so that you cannot miss any of your blessings. You cannot miss any of your opportunities. Um, that phrase, what's meant for you will not pass you by, comes to mind. They want you to rest assured that you cannot mess this up in any way or that you cannot um, go the wrong way or that you cannot miss anything. And I'm sure you guys can hear those sirens going crazy in the background. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the meaning of the pink sapphire crystal. First of all, its pink color gives it a connection to the heart chakra. And this is a stone that is about love. It's about compassion. It's about loyalty, trust, commitment. Um, I think it's a pretty expensive stone, or at least it looks like that. So it's making me think of, you know, love of the highest level or like a spiritual connection of the highest level. And I think that this shift that we're looking at here, for a lot of you guys, it does have to do with your love life. It has to do with a romantic union and very likely with all of these synchronicities and weird things happening with my technology, <laughs> this is likely, um, a divine union, like a divine counterpart, a soulmate, a twin flame, um, like the highest form of love. Now, if you guys are already in a committed romantic relationship or that love life interpretation isn't really resonating with you, this can also be a platonic soulmate, a member of your soul family, someone who really loves you and someone you can really count on that you are coming into union with. But I do get the feeling that this is a romantic relationship coming in or a romantic union um, for most of you. So you could be meeting this person, they could be coming into your life very soon, or if you already know them, they're already in your life, this could be showing that you guys will come into union very soon. So then we moved on to the tea leaf oracle cards. I'm sorry about the shadows, by the way, the sun is setting now, but we had the tent with temporary situation. We had the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. And we had the vase with secret admirer. And I believe I had only gotten to talking about the vase. So the rest of these cards will be um, interpreted in 
you know, the next part that I had originally filmed before. But the vase with the message of secret admirer, it obviously looks like somebody has feelings for you. Somebody is watching you from afar. Somebody is admiring you. And the phrase that came to my mind was somebody is in love with you. So again, I do think that this is a romantic connection for most of you. And the fact that they're coming through as a secret admirer, it could mean that either you're not aware that this person has feelings for you right now, or on a deep level you do know, but maybe they're just not showing it, or you can't see the full extent of their feelings. So, you know, like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, this person is in love with you. So they do have very strong feelings for you, but maybe they're not um, showing that. They're not showing the full extent of it. They're sort of closed off. They're sort of hiding. And when this shift comes into your life, that is something that is going to be changing. And I think that's everything that we covered. So <laughs> I'm sorry about this little technical issue. And let's go to the next part so that you can get the rest of your messages. Sorry guys, I just had to change the card because I ran out of memory. Um, but we were talking about this base card that this person could be watching your social media or if you guys have mutual friends or acquaintances, um, they could be asking others about you. It's like they're trying to check in on you, trying to see what you're up to, sort of watching and admiring you from afar. And... In the case that you guys don't know who your person is or you haven't met in the 3D yet, I think that this secret admirer card could mean that maybe unbeknownst to you, this person actually is um, picking up on your energy and this person actually is longing for you. Um, even if they don't necessarily know you yet, it's like they feel your energy, they know that there's somebody out there and they are longing for you. This person could be dreaming about you as well. With the temporary situation, um, maybe this is referring to a separation dynamic that exists between the two of you and letting you know that this separation is temporary, that it's not going to be this way forever. It could also be that this is a person you were only with for a short amount of time, like you only met and interacted with them for a short amount of time, or you used to be more involved with them and now you're not. It could be referring to something like this, but what I see with the door, with this opportunities are waiting for you is that this person is going to come into your life very soon if they haven't yet, or they're going to come in and make you an offer, like make you an offer for a relationship, an offer for a commitment, because the pink sapphire is like, this is not like a little crush, you know? This is a loving, committed, loyal relationship. This is what I see coming to you. Um, so in the case that you guys are not resonating with the romantic interpretation of this reading, this could mean that somebody thinks you're really cool, somebody thinks you're amazing, somebody would love to be your friend, but maybe they're too shy to come forward at this time but they're, they're thinking of ways of how to approach you. This could also be like somebody really admires your work. They admire the work that you're doing, they admire your projects or they admire your creativity and they're preparing some way to show their appreciation to you. So maybe this person is like preparing a gift for you or they're writing a letter to you or something of this nature and they're about to come forward and make that offer. Um, I also want to say like feel free to claim both because I mentioned this in the intro of the video but the portal that we're going through right now allows for a lot of changes. It allows for many changes and many areas of your life to go under these transformations. So if you feel like you want to claim the romantic message and the friendship message and the professional message, please go ahead and claim all of them because the blessings that you guys can receive are unlimited. So let's move on now and go to your tarot cards and see what other details we can get about this shift that you guys are going through. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Woo, 
<laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is really spinning. <laughs> and we have the Ten of Wands. And finally, we have the Knight of Swords. You guys could be an air sign or you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, oh, and we also have repeating tens here. So we see repeating fours here with the pink sapphire. And now in our tarot, we have repeating tens. So in addition to 44 or 444 appearing in your life, you could also be seeing 1010 or 111 or 1111, any variation of those digits and that could also be a message from your angels to trust your intuition and trust that this beautiful union is coming to you i actually really like the combination of the ten of wands with the wheel of fortune here because in the ten of wands we see somebody who is like they're really about to snap it's like they've been through so much they're carrying so much burden they've done so much work and you know, obviously it's not comfortable for her to be holding all of this weight. This is somebody who has worked so, so hard. And I like the Wheel of Fortune to come out uh, beside this card. And especially the way they came out that she's like looking at the wheel. Um, the Wheel of Fortune represents this moment of divine intervention where things are finally changing. So a situation that was stagnant is finally moving or a situation that seemed hopeless is finally hopeful it's finally moving in a positive direction and i feel like this is you like you guys have been waiting you guys have been wishing you guys have been putting in the work and this wheel of fortune is here to let you know that you have done everything that you can do or you have done everything that you were supposed to do and now just as you have hoped yes it is the universe's turn to make a move it is the divine the divine's turn to make a move so your efforts are going to be matched now it's like the divine is replying to your efforts or answering your prayer now um i know this kind of journey can be discouraging because it's like you know there's the journey of healing there's the journey of shadow work learning to trust your intuition learning to trust divine timing improving your relationship with yourself and finding your soul mission there's so much that goes into this journey and sometimes you can reach this point where it's like do i have to do more is there more work is there more healing and i feel like this is telling you you have done your work and you have done your work well and it is time to reap the fruits of your labor so it is time for you to experience your abundance it is time for you to experience the highest form of soul love you have done everything that you can do on your own now and the divine is responding the divine is answering to your prayers and the divine is recognizing your effort and in this shift that is coming in this next stage blessings will come to you like without you lifting a finger there's going to be a lot of synchronicities there's going to be a lot of serendipitous moments there's going to be a lot of unexpected opportunities and this is not just with regards to like a romantic union this is like all areas of your life you are going to be blessed what is it called on i don't know what the word is that i'm thinking of like not indiscriminately <laughs> But like in every area, not in just like, not just here, not just here. Um, anyway, you guys know I never remember the right expression for things. But um, yeah, the wheel is turning and I love how it literally like spun when I put it down. Um, you guys are gaining momentum and this weight is being lifted. You guys have worked really, really hard towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards your healing, towards improving your relationship with yourself, towards your spiritual gifts and abilities. You guys have really, you know, taken that on and taken the responsibility. And I think that your angels are so freaking proud of you and you're ready to live your best life. So get ready for a ton of synchronicities and a ton of serendipity because you're going to be blessed like i don't know what that snapping is but <laughs> you're going to be blessed left right and center everywhere you go and this knight of swords i think it really speaks to 
things picking up and things accelerating because the knight of swords is like the fastest knight he comes rushing in um some of you guys will be receiving communication from your soulmate very very soon you'll actually be receiving this offer very soon if they're represented by the knight of swords they are like rushing in and for some of you it might catch you a little bit off guard like the way that they come in is quite um sudden quite unexpected and even if what they're saying to you and what they're offering to you is something that you felt intuitively all along i still think it can be like a little bit of a surprise when it's like right there in front of you in the 3d so be prepared for a lot of a lot of pleasant surprises i was trying to think if i could see a time frame or something like that for some of you guys this will happen as soon as like two months um two to six months for most of you it could be a little bit longer for others but this is not like a matter of years this is like near future stuff that we are looking at here for those of you who have been in separation with somebody i do see this person coming forward and getting a lot of things off of their chest saying a lot of things that were left unsaid and that maybe they should have said earlier but they're here now and they're here to talk they're here to talk it out they're here to express their truest feelings again i feel like some of you guys may be receiving a letter a letter from somebody who really loves you and really admires you this could also be like if you guys are struggling at work this can be somebody like rushing to your aid to take some of this weight off of your shoulders. Okay, so let's look at our final oracle cards before finishing this reading and see if there's any other messages for you. Well, of course there are messages for you, but let's see what they are. <laughs> so here we have the crocodile with hidden obstacles, caring connections, and it's funny, we were talking about seeing repeating ones and fours, and then we have a one and a four here. And then freedom, aww. And again, birds make me think of communication. And even this Knight of Swords is riding a freaking bird. So <laughs> um, some very significant communication is coming in for you guys very soon. Communication of love, admiration, honesty, um, it's an offer of commitment for a lot of you. Um, let's look at these, actually let's look at all three of them together because they kind of seem to tell a story for me. This crocodile with the hidden obstacles, it gives me a very similar energy to the Ten of Wands because it's like somebody who is swamped, you know? The crocodile is literally swamped. I like to think that maybe he is stuck um, struggling or feeling like at a dead end or feeling exhausted this is very similar to the ten of wands energy where it's like you have so much on your plate you have so much on your shoulders and you could be kind of struggling or stressed and the way this union or reunion could look like is this person coming in to offer you a helping hand with something that is making you feel swamped or something that you are struggling with this person will come in to offer their time to you and offer their energy to you and show how they genuinely care about you i feel like regardless of your gender i feel like this is you and this is like the person because they're coming in sort of to say like i've got your back i've got you and you know they gave you this flowers and i like to think maybe they gave you this necklace too so they're coming in when you are kind of going through a hard time i feel like things will be a little bit tough like right before this union happens and again it feels it feels like just being swamped like you just have a lot to deal with you have a lot to work on and it just feels like it's getting to be a little bit too much and i feel like this person will come in to lift some of that weight off your shoulders and again this can be um for most of you, I do think it's romantic. That's at least how I see it throughout this reading. But 
Again, it can be platonic, it can be something professional. Basically, you're like this crocodile who is literally neck deep in responsibilities. You might come up across an obstacle and you're like, oh great, like how am I gonna, how am I gonna deal with this? How am I gonna get past this? But with this person's um, advice, with this person's support, with this person's time and energy, they're lending you a helping hand to get out of this swamp. And I like, I like how it looks like the Knight of Swords is like running to the crocodile. So you guys are not alone. You guys will be in good hands. And then we have freedom here. So this freedom card is making me think of opening up. Again, the birds make me think of communication. And we saw in the beginning of this reading, can I pick it up? Will my nails let me do that? <laughs> um, we saw at the beginning of this reading that this person is maybe holding some things back. Maybe you don't know how they really feel. Well, maybe you do intuitively, but um, in the 3D, perhaps they haven't done much to show how they really feel. They could be even like actively hiding it. It's like they're holding back in some way. I feel like this person has been closed off. Even looking at the tent and the door, the tent is closed, like the entrance to the tent is closed the door is closed so this freedom this communication and with the birds spreading their wings it is making me think of like an opening up that is happening so maybe this swamped moment coming to help you when you're swamped it's kind of like their point of entry into your life or back into your life um but shortly after there will be this looks like a heart to heart to me, like a really open and honest conversation where you can just let everything off your chest or get everything off of your shoulders. Just be completely open and real with each other and not afraid of like, what if I come across as too emotional or what if I scare this person away or what if I say something wrong or this and that. You're completely free you're completely free to say whatever is on your mind, whatever is on your heart. This is trust. This is loyalty. This is safety with the number 44. And this is the heart chakra. So your heart spaces are connecting with no, um, with no judgments and with no inhibitions. And you can build or rebuild your relationship from there. Um, so, you know, this could be like... I've mentioned a love, a platonic, like work situation. For some of you, it could be like both of them together. Like it's a friendship. It starts off as a friendship and it turns romantic or it starts off as a work relationship and it turns romantic or it, it starts off as a friend or romantic and it turns into a business relationship. It, it can be like you're experiencing more than one dynamic with this person. It could be just one or a couple of them or all of them. Remember that your blessings are unlimited and if you're resonating with more than one potential situation, you are absolutely free to claim all of them. Um, but just look at these beautiful transitions, like going from having all of this heavy burden on you to now the wheel of fortune is turning for you and going from this swamped crocodile to this free bird who is soaring through the sky it's like major weights lifted major getting things off your chest feeling free feeling relieved feeling like you can finally be yourself feeling like you're not being held back anymore it's like your rewards are here your blessings are here and it's time to celebrate it's time to spread your wings Yes. So I think that's all the messages I see for you guys here. I'm going to end your reading there. Thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself. Stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you feel like doing that and definitely check out Luna's video as well. I also have a Patreon. So if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic that will be linked down below too. So I'm sending you guys lots of love and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.
Hi number fives, so if you chose the sodalites, this is going to be a reading all about what major shift is about to come into your life. And just before we get into the cards, I do actually have a message for you guys and I think this is the only pile that had a message before even getting into the cards. I don't remember super well because I filmed the other piles yesterday, it's the next day now, <laughs> but your message is as part of this shift that is coming into your life, there is actually a new spirit guide who is going to be making themselves known to you. They're going to come and introduce themselves to you and offer their assistance. And they're saying don't worry so much about how this happens because this is not really something that you actively have to look for. It's not like you have to go into meditation and ask them to come forward. They're saying that they're going to make it pretty obvious to you and there are actually some of you guys watching right now who you have been noticing that something is different you have been noticing the signs and the little messages from them but maybe just haven't made the connection that oh this is a new spirit guide coming to me or this is an entity that is introducing themselves to me so for those of you who have been seeing really weird signs and synchronicities or having weird dreams and you're not sure why um, it's probably a spirit guide <laughs> trying to say hello and trying to let you know that they want to work with you to bring in this new chapter of your life and to help you get the most blessings as possible. Another message that came through for you guys is that you're being encouraged, if you haven't already, to take a deeper dive into your Chiron sign. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Chiron, it's an astrological placement. I believe it's actually an asteroid. If I'm wrong, I will correct that at the bottom of the screen, but it shows the area of our life in which we carry the most pain. It shows us where our deepest wounds are. So if you guys are working on shadow work or even actually if you're working on manifestation, knowing where your deepest wounds lie can help a lot because they can show you how your limiting beliefs were formed and show you where you need to heal or clear energy so that you can manifest better and so that you can bring in your blessings better. And this is almost a placement that it's called the wounded healer sometimes and it can actually show where your secret strength lies because as you work through this pain, you become very knowledgeable and very wise about this area of life so that you can actually share your wisdom with others and heal others. So it's like your greatest weakness that has the potential to become your greatest strength. And I think your guide is saying for a lot of you, if you do more research about your Chiron placement, a lot of stuff is going to make sense. Like why you've had the difficulties that you've had in your life, why you've had the pain that you've had in your life and everything like that. So yeah, wow, that was a long <laughs> message to start off with. So let's get into your cards now and I'm actually gonna start with a Crystal Spirit Oracle card and we have Moldavite. This stone is so freaking cool. Some of you guys may already know about it, but it's said to, or it's believed to have formed um, from an asteroid impact on Earth. And it's said to be like a super powerful stone for manifestation and wish fulfillment. So it kind of ties into um, what we were just talking about. And I also want to point out the number that is on this card. I've been pointing out the number um, for every pile on this crystal card. You guys have the number 35. So this might be a number that is going to show up in your life that is going to start following you around. It could be repeating 35 or um, repeating number eights will be following you guys around if they aren't already. And eight is a number of abundance, money, <laughs> success in your career. It's a number that lets you know it is time for you to receive. It is time for you to receive big gifts. And with Moldavite, I'm also being reminded of the Moldavite card in, I believe it's called the Crystal Angel Oracle deck. And it talks about unconventionality. It talks about your uniqueness or your unconventionality is actually tied into your life's purpose. So this stone kind of gives me an energy of embracing your weirdness, embracing what makes you unique and different from others, rather than feeling like you should be ashamed of your differences and you should try to conform. So as a part of this shift that is coming into your life, um, some of you guys are going to be figuring out how 
something that has always made you feel different or weird or insecure is actually a part of your life purpose and you can actually make a career or make a living or make a platform off of it. You're either figuring out how you can do that or you're finally finding the courage to do it. So just for a really simple example, let's say you guys have always felt really weird because you are spiritual. Maybe the people around you have kind of made you to feel crazy that you believe in this kind of stuff. Maybe you use tarot cards and nobody around you really believes in that. And so you've always felt kind of insecure or kind of weird about it. Um, but actually in your life purpose is to use your gift and read tarot for other people. And when you find your community that really loves and appreciates what you do, you realize like, oh my gosh, this was a gift all along. Or maybe you were made fun of because you really liked anime <laughs> or something in the past. No offense to anime, but <laughs> maybe your life purpose is to create an anime or to be a voice actor in one. Or maybe you make a YouTube channel where you talk about your favorite animes and you gain a huge following and people love your insight and people love your passion and your enthusiasm. So part of this shift is you guys gaining a new perspective about the things that make you weird and different from everybody else. And you're starting to see it as an advantage. And actually, I feel that a lot of you guys will be able to capitalize off of this in some way because you do have um, this number 35 here which is adding up to eight it is a number of abundance and money and good news in your career also the green color of moldavite is making me think about money so yes <laughs> this is lovely energy to start off with so let's get into your tea leaf oracle cards now we have the bull, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Mm -hmm. I feel like this message makes a lot of sense to come out afterwards because it's like, don't let what people think get you down. If you think about, you know, other people's opinions or other people's expectation as the opposition, so to speak, it's like, don't let that scare you out of being your true self. Don't let that you know, scare you into giving up on your dreams. Don't let that pressure win. Don't back down. Be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams and of really finding your true self and your true joy. Some of you guys may also be a Taurus with this bull. We have the sun, happiness, and well-being. So again, if you don't back down, if you proudly show your true self in all of your weirdness, it's going to bring nothing but happiness to you. The sun is also about like inspiration and brilliant ideas. And it can be about also like being in the spotlight or being transparent because, you know, the sun is obviously big and burning and shining and everybody can see it. So this can also be about proudly showing who you are. You guys might have some Leo energy as well. And then we have dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. This could definitely be referring to your spirit guide. Um, this could also be someone in your life who you are currently distanced from or separated from in some way. This is letting you know that they are thinking about you, that they are missing you. This is likely someone who really saw you, who really got you and who really supported you. And this person's higher self is watching over you as well. This person's higher self is always sending loving and healing energy your way. And they will likely be a big contribution in helping to lead you to these blessings that are trying to find you. So you definitely have a very loving spirit guide. Some of you also have the higher self of somebody who is currently incarnated, currently in your life, but maybe there's a bit of distance between you guys. Um, maybe you guys are separated right now. This could be somebody that you look up to a lot and that you see a lot of yourself in or that you see a lot of the person you want to be in. And they are thinking about you or they are picking up on you. Um, even if this person doesn't know you in the 3D yet, they're picking up on you and their higher self is sending you a lot of love and support. Okay, so... Let's move on to your tarot cards now. I have to say, guys, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. Sometimes when there are like a lot 
of beings or a lot of spirit guides trying to come through at the same time it overwhelms me and i start um spacing out so <laughs> i'm sorry if that happens at any point in this reading um it can also just be that the spirit guides are like really freaking excited and it just gets like my brain can't process it <laughs> so if i start drawing a blank or spacing out that is why and i'm sorry i just feel like it might happen um yeah so <laughs> let's get into your tarot cards now and see what other details we can find about this shift. Ooh, okay, so we have the chariot. So there's cancer energy here as well. So far, I feel Taurus, Leo, and cancer energy. This could be you or this could be maybe this dog far away <laughs> who is thinking about you. The fool. The Fool I've seen as Aries, I've also seen it as Aquarius, but I also don't, I don't like listing too many signs because then it's like, ma'am, that applies to everyone. Um, <laughs> and then we have the Ace of Cups. So, you know what? I'll just list all of them. Let's just list all of them. Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius. If there's anybody in your life that you feel drawn to or that you really look up to who has these signs there is a very good reason that they are in your life they are here to help you awaken to your true self they're here to inspire you they're here to help give you the courage to pursue your dreams and be authentic yes so i actually want to start with this ace of cups here i really really like this card to come out in your reading because this is a card that talks about a new beginning and especially it talks about love and especially it talks about self-love so this shift that is coming to you it's like an inner revolution where i feel that you guys are starting to radically and unapologetically love yourselves this is a card of like happiness and peace and emotional fulfillment and the realization that you are perfect just as you are i feel like in this new chapter of your life you guys are starting to make decisions for yourself and more particularly like is this going to be enjoyable for me is this going to be fulfilling for me if i choose this path am i going to be able to walk this path without having to pretend or wear a mask or ignore what I'm feeling? Is this path going to feel authentic to me? You may also start to review paths that you have chosen in the past and say like, why did I choose that path? Was it really for myself? Was it really because I thought I was going to like it? Or was it just because that's what everybody expected of me? Or that's what I had internalized as being quote unquote normal or quote unquote acceptable? In this new chapter, some of you guys are going to be changing jobs or you're going to be changing majors, like your path of study, um, or you're gonna be changing your idea of what you wanted to study because you're realizing, wait a minute, I don't actually wanna do that. <laughs> I actually wanna do this. And so you'll make that switch over to what it is that you really love and what you're really passionate about, even if it doesn't make sense to other people. And some people in this new chapter might say things Mm, this is how you can tell like who knows the real you because if people say like what's with the sudden change you know why are you suddenly changing your path then that person likely doesn't really understand the true you of course they can learn over time but <laughs> um it's the people who say like oh my gosh i'm so happy you made that choice you're gonna be so much happier in this choice those are the people i think who who really get your soul. But you will get some questions, I think. You will get a little bit of like, what? <laughs> I thought you were going on this other path. Why are you suddenly changing? Just give them time to see who you truly are and don't let those questions scare you back into your box. Um, just keep shining as your true self and hopefully those people will get it over time. Like, oh, this is who you were all along. You didn't change. You're just being yourself now. And if they don't get it even after that, then, well, that's that's not really your problem. <laughs> um, I'm also feeling like some of you guys are going to be quitting things that you never really liked anyway. So, okay, kind of a weird example, but let's say you have been taking trumpet lessons <laughs> your whole life. 
uh, because your parents signed you up when you were little and then you just kept doing it like you played it in the high school band and you're and then one day you're like wait a minute i don't even like playing the trumpet like why have i been doing this my whole life why did i just accept doing it well because everybody thought i was the trumpet man <laughs> like you realize what parts of your identity were just you just accepted blindly or you just accepted because that's what other people are putting on you and so i feel like in this shift you guys are shedding your skin and i actually that's a good segue because i see this a lot with the fool card it's like you're shedding off all those layers that have been caked on you throughout your life from people's expectations or people's opinions about you or what society thinks is good and bad you're shedding all of that and you're getting back to your bare truest self the fool is like this pure soul this pure soul with no judgments and with no baggage this is a very very liberating time for you guys and also with the fool I just got this message like, you guys are not going to care if you look stupid. <laughs> you know when you're just so joyful and jubilant and you're frolicking? And I think I spoke about this in a recent reading, but some people feel like disdain or they feel like it's weird. Like, why are you so happy? Why are you so energetic all the time? You know, because they're just cynical or they're just miserable themselves i feel like a lot of people feel uncomfortable or they feel weird around this pure expression of joy but you guys are not going to care <laughs> if you look silly or if you look like a fool i'm thinking of um i don't know if you guys watch friends or have seen it but that episode where phoebe runs like really really crazy like she's like flailing her limbs everywhere and she looks really dumb and rachel's embarrassed to run with her but then when rachel realizes how fun it is to run like that like it feels so freeing then she doesn't care and she's like who cares if people are judging me because i'm already gone because <laughs> i'm running so fast this way so uh where was i going with that <laughs> You're not going to care what you look like doing it because you're having so much freaking fun with it. And that's that's really all that matters. And if people judge that, that says everything about them and it says nothing about you. So you're just going to be free completely, not even. You don't even have time to see like what people are thinking, what people are saying. And it doesn't matter because you're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling so free. You're feeling like your life is yours again. And again, there's this message of you guys really becoming successful because of this, really becoming abundant because of this. A lot of you guys are gonna make careers off of your weird hobby or your weird interest or what you've been made to feel is weird. Um, like those of you who have really niche interests or you're really like an avid fan of something, you can make a platform off of that or you can make um, a career off of that. Like I love watching people's YouTube videos about Nicki Minaj, okay? <laughs> so those Nicki Minaj fans, they're making a career out of what they love, even if it's kind of weird or unconventional. So this is kind of what I see for you guys. And the chariot is about public recognition or it can be about this sort of um, admiration, recognition, success. So some of you guys might actually grow um, a significant platform with this. Like you'll be a little bit famous, um, at least in the community or in the niche that you guys are in. Or if that doesn't apply to your field of work, it could be that you have a very good reputation. Maybe you are like acclaimed, I think that's the word, or renowned for something. So even people in other locations have heard about you. Like, oh, that's the person who invented this and that, or that's the person who accomplished this and that. Um, like people will know who you are. People will know your name. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so let's take a look at these final oracle cards now to see what your last messages are. We have fish, 
with learning, door to value, and opportunity. Come on, door to value and opportunity. You guys are gonna be rich. <laughs> you guys are gonna be very, very successful. With this fish card, with this learning card, um, I feel like your guides are saying to get cracking. <laughs> um, I feel like for some of you guys, this may be like the first time you're really allowing yourself to love what you love and pursue what you want to pursue. And so your guides are saying there's a lot to learn, whether that's, you know, just learning more about the topic or learning what careers are possible to you um, or what careers are available to you, I should say like what, how you can make a living out of this knowledge or out of this interest. Um, some of you guys, maybe you're gonna start learning how to use certain technology or how to use certain software or you're gonna learn about marketing. Like there's a lot that you can learn to support this dream. And so in this next chapter of your life, I think you guys are gonna be really enthusiastic in the pursuit of any kind of knowledge or any kind of insight that can support um, turning this dream into a reality. I'm also noticing that there's a lot of fish imagery here. Um, this can be a sign of abundance as well. All of these fish hanging around in your cards. And then, I mean, this is pretty, <laughs> this is pretty freaking straightforward, this door to value. I really like, um, the door on this card. There's a few door cards in this deck um, and I like how this one is just like cracked open a little bit and you can see the money starting to pour out but you know they're not whoosh, like busted wide open yet. And so it's almost as if your guides are saying like what you have imagined for yourself or what you have dreamed for yourself in terms of abundance, in terms of the kind of lifestyle you want to have, like the quality of living you want to have, you've really only seen the tip of the iceberg. Like what you can accomplish with this dream, it's like way more than you have imagined. It's way more than you have dreamed. You guys are going to be so... Um, so abundantly blessed and so celebrated for your authenticity because that is really really going to come through and then here we have opportunity um this is pretty straightforward as well opportunities coming to you the fool can also talk about unexpected opportunities i'm getting the feeling that these opportunities will start to pop in um faster than you're expecting it's like the minute you embrace who you truly are and start taking that step forward towards your dreams, um, opportunities are going to be flocking to you. <laughs> so like, you know, making the right connections, these kind of networking opportunities or, you know, opportunities to collaborate or to be hired by someone, whether it's for a long term job or like a short term gig, depending on what it is you're doing. Um, you're going to find your community very quickly as well um, because the universe has really just been waiting, like waiting for you to come out of your shell so that it can flood you. Yes, <laughs> flood you with all of these blessings. What a wonderful reading. I'm so happy for you guys. These blessings are so well deserved. Um, Claim them, <laughs> claim them all. And no matter what, I hope you guys feel free to be who you truly are. Okay, so I'm gonna end this reading there. Thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely check out Luna's video as well. I also have a Patreon, so if you guys are interested in seeing even more exclusive pick a cards where you get to choose the topic, that will be linked down below too. I'm sending you guys lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!